general pathology and first topic is immune system i start with the last year's neat pg question nk cells dekho mechanism action of nk cells first of all the cd marker i told you yaad hai sabko bolo 6 hoga 16 56 and 94 sir what is 94 94 is yahan likha hua hai it is nkg 2d okay nkg 2d nkg 2d theek hai nkg 2d how does it act dekho suppose this is antigen please listen to me carefully okay this is a revision class i'm not teaching you I'm re revising everything so i want all of you to be focused and please leave everything aside around you whatever is happening in your home leave it aside right now tell your parents tell your friends this 2 hour is important for me half and 1 hour is gone please let me study now please tell them clearly because if you can give me your sincere sincere one hour more i will make the other pages very simple for you but only if you are dedicated and listen to me carefully aisa mat karna ek tarah se khana kha rahe aur mujhe dekh rahe ho aur you wandering around somewhere else and then listening to me won't work focus rehna padega and you have to give full attention only then you can remember this pathology will give you minimum 20 questions 10% of all the entire paper will come from pathology core pathology baki to chhod do and the 10% will make your rank from 10000 to 1000 so if you want to do that please listen to me carefully do not make a joke out of it do not wander your mind here and there do not show distractions listen to me carefully leave everything aside from you so can you do this are you all in now are you all in are you all in here give me a thumbs up again so those who are again live here चलो गुड सो लीव एवरीथिंग असाइड एंड डू स्टार्ट दिस अगेन ओके आई एम पुटिंग अ लाइक टू द टू ऑल ऑफ यू बाय पुटिंग अ लाइक ऑन माय वीडियो तुम लोग को लाइक देने के लिए मैं अपने वीडियो को लाइक कर देता हूं यू आल्सो पुट अ लाइक स्टार्टिंग विद द एनके सेल सुनो एनके सेल मैकेनिज्म एक्शन इज एडीसीसी एडीसीसी मतलब एंटीबॉडी डिपेंडेंट सेल मीडिएटेड साइटो toxicity adcc matlab antibody dependent cell mediated cytotoxicity suppose this is an antigen and the antigen can be of two types it can be a virus infected cell and can be tumor cell virus infected cells and tumor cells so this antigen is first opsonized by igg antibody after opsonization after opsonization it is taken to the nk cells it attaches to the cd16 why 16 is the fc receptor of igg but the antigen to be destroyed nk cell will do what apoptosis and hence the name is adcc but is a big but here antigen can be destroyed only if the antigen activates cd94 cd94 okay nkg 2d however if there is any antigen which has a mhc1 the mhc1 will activate the inhibitory receptors mhc1 will activate inhibitory receptors that means nk cell cannot destroy any antigen which has mhc1 theek hai this is very very important now how does the antigen destruction occur site a apc on the site on lymph node is dendritic cells say with me everyone say with me lymph node mein dendritic cells mature and immature bore okay if it is asked most potent most potent dc ever known dc matlab dendritic cells most potent dc it is the dendritic cells skin mein langer hand cells lc matlab langer hand cells langer hand cells okay langer hand cells theek hai langer hand cells then in the tissue it is histocytes and macrophages blood mein b cells and git mein mucosal cells git mein mucosal cells git mein mucosal cells theek hai this entire is a revision of all the class images are not been discussed right now images is all discussed in my wife session and different session but please focus on me carefully we'll discuss a lot of questions today so on the 
लिम्फ नोड इज डीसी स्किन में लैंग्रैन सेल्स टिश्यू में मैक्रोफेजेस मैक्रोफेज मतलब बाहुबली यस द बाहुबली हु इज द बाहुबली पैथोलॉजी मैक्रोफेज एंड देन ब्लड में बी सेल्स जीआईटी में म्यूकोजल और एम सेल्स व्हाट इज सो स्पेशल अबाउट एपीसी स्पेशल अबाउट एपीसी इज एमएससी 1 एंड एमएससी 2 सर व्हाट इज एमएससी 1 एंड एमएससी 2 कम हियर सो एमएससी 1 एमएससी इज अ जीन ऑन क्रोमोसोम नंबर 6 एमएससी कोड्स फॉर अ प्रोटीन कोड इज एचएलए एमएससी इज एमएससी 1 एंड एमएससी 2 हाउ टू रिमेंबर एमएससी 1 इज ऑन ऑल सेल्स एमएससी 1 on all cells having nucleus and platelets msc2 on all apcs msc1 identify all intracellular antigen example viruses yes viruses and msc2 identifies bacteria msc1 presents to cd8 cells msc2 presents to cd4 cell we can also say this actually a term often uses msc restriction msc restriction matlab cd8 cells will identify a antigen only when given by mhc1 and cd4 so we identify this only when given by mhc class 2 theek hai so this mhc topic is very very important for neat pg i have often seen a question being asked on apc or mhc theek hai now this year a question came in the nict and the question was on bare lymphocyte syndrome listen to me carefully if suppose a patient does not have mhc so what will not develop the cd4 or cd8 suppose he does not have mhc class 2 the mhc class 2 is not there to cd4 also will not develop it is called as major bare lymphocyte syndrome however if a patient does not have mhc class 1 the cd8 doesn't develop it is called as minor bare lymphocyte syndrome okay that's it chalo now a very very important topic is the graft rejection graft rejection the graft rejection is hyper acute acute and chronic dekho hyper acute mein time minutes to hours acute mein weeks to months chronic mein months to years how will a rejection occur within minutes within minutes how it is possible is possible only with a preformed preformed anti donor hla antibody preformed anti donor HLA antibody in the recipient. It's a class type two, more than type three hypersensitivity reaction. In acute, it is post transplant. Post transplant antibody is type two hyper reaction. Post transplant T cell is obviously type four hypersensitivity reaction. And chronic is always due to type four hypersensitivity reaction. Okay, now. very important question asked here is upon this question if a patient has a if a patient has a acute antibody mediated rejection what will you see simple antigen antibody will always activate what complement which complement c4d and c4d deposition is a hallmark of acute antibody rejection just add one more extra point very confusing gvhd so gvhd is a condition also refers to a runs disease okay in this a patient have three main finding it is rash it is jaundice and bloody diarrhea okay rash jaundice and bloody diarrhea are three main symptoms of gvhd if occurring within 100 days acute gvhd after 100 days is chronic gvhd and the basic logic of gvhd is what it's a immuno competent donor cells destroying the immuno suppressed recipient simple yaad karna graft versus host so graft destroying host is gvhd if host destroys graft is graft rejection is graft rejection clear ho gaya clear hai okay chalo now comes in the next chapter of neoplasia i'll discuss very important things P53 and the retinoblastoma gene. P53 and retinoblastoma gene. I am discussing every NEET PG question also along with the last five years of NEET PG question I am discussing with you. Okay, so tumor suppressor gene. It is on first one is P53 also called as guardian or molecular policeman of cell cycle. Guardian or molecular policeman of cell cycle. How to remember this? Forget everything. Now remember your guardian. when was your guardian overactive 
वेन यू मूव टू योर टीन एजेस याद है क्लास नाइन टेंथ में वेन वेन वी यूज टू बंक आवर स्कूल एंड यूज टू गो टू प्ले क्रिकेट सो वॉट हैपन बिकॉज ऑफ एनी सेल इंजरी दट इज बैड थिंग हैपनिंग और एनी ऑनकोज इन एक्टिवेशन आवर गार्जियन टूक केयर ऑफ अस दैट इज हाउ यू अंडरस्टैंड द फंक्शन ऑफ पी फिफ्टी थ्री इन केस ऑफ एनी सेल इंजरी और ऑनकोज इन एक्सट्रेस द इंफॉर्मेशन विल रीच आवर फादर हु इज द फादर पी फिफ्टी थ्री फादर विल टेल होम मदर हु इज मदर पी ट्वेंटी वन एंड पी ट्वेंटी वन आर सेल साइकिल इनिवेटर्स एंड हेंस The cell will stop at G1 S more than G2 M. G1 S more than G2 M stage. Once the cell stops here, there is checking of mutation. If there is a mutation, it will repair. If repair is possible, go back to cell cycle. Not possible, will undergo apoptosis by inactivating back and backs. So, father tells mother. Mother stops us to go out. And then repair. Repair. So, कोई याद होगा अच्छा तार तार repair लगता था. Repair. If repair is possible, go out again. If not possible, cell death. If there is no policeman in the city, there can be blast. So, mnemonic for P fifty three loss is blast. B say breast, brain. L say lung. A say adrenal. S say stomach and skin. And T say tumor. If there is no P fifty three, a simple mnemonic blast. Remember. If it's a germ line loss, germ line loss or mutation, germ line loss or familial mutation, it is called as Lee Fromney syndrome. This is very very important, guys. Do not forget this. Lee Fromney syndrome is a germ line loss of P fifty three. Okay. Next gene. Next is retinoblastoma gene. Now what does he tell? He say, "I am the governor." Acha. Why are you the governor, sir? So, governor. So this P fifty three is on which chromosome? Yes, it's on chromosome number seventeen P. Okay, seventeen P. Now we move to the chromosome number thirteen Q. Okay, chromosome number thirteen Q. Retinoblastoma or governor of proliferation. Governor of proliferation. How does this act? Whenever a growth factor comes, example, suppose epidermal growth factor has come, it is acting on epidermal growth factor receptor. ठीक है? so ideally it must cause cell proliferation but to cause proliferation it must first activate some cyclins like cyclin d with cdk4 once the cyclin d acts it acts on the retinoblastoma gene or protein normally what happens normally rb gene causes no proliferation normally rb gene causes no proliferation but when cyclin d acts on the rb the rb will become hyper Phosphorylated, hyperphosphorylated, and then the elongation factor two will get free, and this will cause more and more proliferation. The point to understand here is, normally RB is causing no proliferation, but when the RB adds many phosphate group, it is causing proliferation. So, how to remember it? Not much. Don't even try to remember. P for proliferation, P for phosphorylation. Now, what will happen? P for proliferation, P for proliferation, P for phosphorylation. That means if a RB gene is having more phosphate, if RB is having more phosphate, there can be proliferation. Now what happens? This happening because when it is getting hyperphosphorylated, E2F has got free. Now think, think. If suppose RB is not there, then E2F is always free. If all is free, will cause more and more proliferation. That is the reason. Whenever RB gene has got lost, will cause many tumors. Which tumor, sir? Retinoblastoma first, osteosarcoma, and pineoblastoma. If a patient has retinoblastoma and pineoblastoma, it is called trilateral retinoblastoma. A patient having bilateral retinoblastoma and pineoblastoma is referred to as. It is called as. Pineo blastoma. It's called pineo blastoma. Okay. Okay. Chal. Let's move to the next one, and the next topic here is about the IHC. If you have done my class, what do I say? Batao. For IHC, I say you forget your name. Don't forget IHC. You forget your name. 
Don't forget. That is the confidence I have in the IFC questions. Why? Nowadays, none of the tumors are reported without IHC. So whenever a clinician thinks of making a question, he has to bring IHC there. Okay? See, cytokeratin, it is seen in carcinoma. Vimentin, sarcoma. Desmin, last year's NEED PG question, rhabdomyosarcoma. Rhabdomyosarcoma. HMB45, melanoma. S100, this year's NICT question, Langer hand cell histiocytosis. Then, synaptophysin, chromogranin, neuron specific analysis and CD56. All of these four in neuroendocrine tumors like small cell cancer, pheochromocytoma and carcinoids. So this is the immunohistochemistry you must remember. How to remember? Bolo mere saath. Everyone say with me. Cytokeratin, carcinoma. Vimentin, sarcoma. Desmin, rhabdomyosarcoma. HMB45, melanoma. S100, LCH, Santophysin, Chromogranin, Neuron Specific and CD56. That's a neuroendocrine tumor like small cell cancer, pheochromocytoma, and carcinoids. Okay? That's all about the main topics that you must remember in neoplasia. Okay?